Congratulations, Matteo, for having achieved your offer with BCG. So I guess you must be feeling super satisfied, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hi, ZD. Thank you so much. I mean, uh, it, it's really amazing. It's like, uh, you know, a, a circle that closes. Uh, we yes. were here a couple of months ago during our introductory call. And yes. uh, now, I mean, uh, we, we are here with uh, with an offer from BCG. And I mean, it, it's it's just wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I know, right? Uh, BCG was your number one target from the beginning, right? Um, but uh, before we started on this journey together, right? Um, it did not seem so clear <laughs> that you would be able to really make it happen, right? So, um, could you tell me a little bit uh, about how did you feel back then? Also on an emotional level, right? What were you struggling with, and what actually drove you towards reaching out to us, right, to carve out a preparation plan together? Yes, yes, I was uh, absolutely scared about this kind of process <laughs> because uh, a few months ago I was uh, at the beginning of my last uh, semester of my master degree and I felt like I needed to to start to to shape my postgrad future. And uh, I, I was I had this uh, strategic consulting dream, the MBB dream back in the back of my head for a couple of, of months. Yeah. But I feel like at that stage I had uh, three main problems to, to tackle this, uh, this kind of MBB process, which were uh, the, the time, first of all, to prepare, the, the skills needed to, uh, for, for, a, for a consulting interview, and mm -hmm. the, the network to prepare with the people. Mm. Mm. Um, so if, if, we, if I think about the time, in terms of time, uh, I found myself uh, with a spring uh, in which uh, I had a full-time internship and a thesis to write because I still needed to graduate. Yeah. And, uh, so I needed, I felt like I needed to, to maximize, you know, the, the, the learning to, to time ratio. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, then. yeah. L uh, learning per hour spent. <laughs> exactly, exactly, yes. exactly. Uh, instead, let's say in terms of skills, uh, I didn't have a precise guidance. That mm. was the scariest part because uh, I don't have a business background. Mm. I felt at the same time quite confused by the amount of uh, online content uh, appearing yeah. every day. Um, and also, I mean, it's kind of uh, uh, from an energy perspective, uh, it's kind of exhausting also to clean all the data sources yeah. and try to find uh, the right source. So that yeah. was another another problem. And yeah. thirdly, uh, when we think about the networking, uh, I am, uh, and I was at that time, a data science student. So most of, not coming from a business school. So uh, most of my colleagues uh, were not particularly interested into strategy consulting. Mm -hmm. And I found myself completely alone with these uh, and uh, I needed, uh, of course, motivated people as me to, to share my yep. preparation with. Yes. And uh, luckily, <laughs> through the online ads, videos, interviews, uh, let's say, not interviews, but conversation like these recorded uh, of yep. the maybe of her machine, I had the opportunity to actually know and contact a former mentees of this program. Because yep. You see the people, you see the faces, you find them on LinkedIn. And uh, that's had, why we do this. <laughs> exactly, exactly, which is absolutely cool because you, you see actually real people, not just, uh, you know, claims. Yeah. And uh, I had a nice coffee chat and uh, this girl uh, let me understand uh, at that stage the value of this program. And yeah. on paper, this program had the, the three key features I needed. So minimize time, maximize mm. the skills development uh, yep. through the coaching platform and yep. create a network yep. of people with the same goal. Yeah, so yeah. That was the process, actually. Awesome, awesome. Uh, and yeah, I mean, then once we started, right, I mean, the goal of the whole preparation was obviously to get you what we call offer ready, <laughs> right? But um, I mean, what you have then learned and internalized during the program is very different from what is usually written in the mainstream case books uh, that are available on the internet, right? Um, so what we have established is a very robust methodical grounding on which you could then build a much stronger and much more rigorous case-solving muscle, right? So 
if you reflect back on this, right, what would you say? How has this more mature approach and more robust approach to cases uh, and the independence from frameworks, how has this helped you to be successful in your interviews with BCG? <laughs> yeah, actually, so uh, to be completely honest, I have not uh, uh, an in-depth idea of uh, all the other methodologies of the various books and online yep. programs. Uh, but what I know is that this methodology is not easy to digest. Yep. It's something different. It's something that you are not used to anywhere in uh, univer at university, in yep. jobs, uh, it, it's something completely different. And I believe that the, the main differences of this approach, which helped me both during the, you know, the, the mock interviews with peers uh, and also during the, the, the actual real uh, interviews, uh, can be summar summarized in uh, two main points, I would say. The first one is the logic-based thinking, the rigorous thinking, as you, as you call it. And yeah. the second one is, uh, is freedom, the freedom that uh, this kind of methodology um, gives you. Mm. So um, when I talk about the rigorous logic-based thinking, I'm referring to, um, I would say, the, the problem-solving skill that you develop, yeah. which helps you to uh, consistently and precisely and cle clearly guide the conversation to yep. assist the client, assist the interviewer, yep. assist whoever, yep. and reach, uh, find the solution. Yeah, and, and what, you, what you say is very important, right? Guiding the conversation, assisting the interviewer, right? So not behaving as if you would be in university in an exam, right? You get a question and then oh, I need to find the right answer, right? This is not what it is at all, <laughs> right? Exactly. And and it's not based on, uh, you know, so the, the, the classic uh, frameworks, uh, buzzwords, mm -hmm. keywords. Uh, yeah. It's something logic logical based and yes, yes. Uh, uh, it always helps you to to find a solution to a problem yes and it, it, it's key because it can help you to solve any problem on a daily basis i use the same methodologies to talk to uh, my managers managers at work with mm. friends uh, to uh, i mean uh, and it's something that makes sense for both a c-level and a random friend uh, uh, yep. while you are, I don't know, uh, preparing for a summer trip. Is yep. the same thing. It makes sense and solve, help you to solve problems. Yes. This, this was, uh, I mean, uh, amazing for me to, to, to actually use this methodology always. Yes. And, uh, as regards the freedom, mm -hmm. uh, the freedom, I, I mean, uh, how this, uh, this mental structure, I would say, Allow you allows you to to have fun, to actually have fun and enjoy the new case, the new problem uh, with yes. creativity. And as you said, uh, yes. without the pressure of forgetting uh, that bucket, that word, uh, even because I mean, uh, there's not a clearly right or wrong answer. It's more exactly. the, the process of solving a case. Exactly, right? So th that's exactly the point, right? I mean, you mentioned it in the first point. It's about showing problem-solving ability because this is what these firms need to test because this is their business model, right? These firms are brought in to solve problems for which no standard answers exist. This is the reason why you have BCG coming, coming to you as a client, right? And this is why um, the only reason why they give you a case in these interviews is because they really want to understand how do you think, how do you approach a problem, how do you then take your discussion partner along through your reasoning. And it's not they want to hear a specific thing from you and you have mentioned all 10 words and now you get 100 points. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, amazing, right? That's exactly uh, uh, what it is. So now speaking about, you know, when you then, you know, applied it right in the preparation in the practicing you did either internally with with our mentees here or also with with external people. So uh, did you receive any specific feedback during your preparation that uh, stood out especially positively from this, you know, skill that you had built up? Yeah, I mean, uh, this is kind of interesting because uh, 
um, uh, before actually uh, approaching uh, uh, directly BCG and send the the resume and start the process, I had like a, a mock interview with the with, with this friend of mine, uh, which is a senior associate of BCG, uh, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, referred me, and uh, he wanted to to test me, yep. so to understand my my level kind of level of preparation. And, uh, and and also <laughs> whether he puts his name <laughs> out on someone who will embarrass him or not, right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, they, I, I think that uh, uh, since all these uh, th this process is based on also on the word of mouth from uh, the, the actual consultants, uh, it makes sense to see who you are referring. So yes. it was yes. kind of nice. But the, I mean, the feedback was uh, the, the case was actually kind of tough. But the feedback uh, was uh, uh, unexpected because uh, he was like, uh, "You okay? Let's go. Let's apply immediately because you already have uh, the kind of uh, associate uh, level of rigorous thinking uh, and the problem-solving skill that it's needed. Yep. So yep. let's go. D don't wait. Why? Why do you need to wait? L yep. Let's go. Yeah. And after that, I mean, yeah, the, the day after we send the the application and. Yep. Exactly, exactly. And this is this is actually a nice statement because, I mean, if you remember, right, one of the early things I always say in the program to the new mentees is what you are learning here in the program, this is not like a dirty trick to get you into BCG or McKinsey or Bain, right? No, this is the toolkit that you will use every day to serve your clients, right? Because this is the toolkit that the interviewers need to see in order to be positive and, and confident uh, that you will actually create value on the team. <laughs> right? oh, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. And that's something that also during the interviews, uh, uh, just a couple of feedbacks, let's say, from the internal side, it was like, yep. uh, I mean, no need for other interviews. Uh, let's go with the offer. And uh, yep. it, it, yep. it was nice to hear because in the end, uh, yeah, your, your approach uh, makes sense but in the end uh, it's the person the mentee that yep. should apply those principles and uh, yes. Yes. you are you are there <laughs> you, yep. you need to convince them and this is also this is also something we've seen this a couple of times right so uh, essentially uh, we've seen it pretty often that our mentees after their interview processes they tell us uh, the firm actually cut the process short because they they told me they have seen everything they need to see. Here's the offer. They they found additional interviews unnecessary, right? And this is something that we've uh, heard quite a couple of times. So very nice to hear this again here. Right? Um, so now um, speaking a little bit more about practicing, right? Because one thing that is particularly cool in the program is that after we have established some of the basic principles, um, our mentees can then also practice with each other, right? And uh, contrary to yeah, normal candidates out there, you then actually know that you can practice um, with people who also really understand these principles uh, because all of them have been personally coached by us, right? So you don't need to waste your time with a lot of bullshit feedback that almost all the other people out there will give you who are basing their preparation on the usual books, right? So how helpful has this been, right? Uh, being in this little bubble. No, yeah, absolutely. It was, it was amazing. First of all, uh, it was an incredible opportunity to to actually meet and work with people from all over the world with yep. all different backgrounds, different stories, different stages of life. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, and so it was a great opportunity to hear stories all about uh, all over the world from yep. all over the world. And of course, yes, as you said, the positive side of, of this kind of uh, small uh, uh, selected network uh, is that, uh, as I said, uh, you really minimize the time needed to practice. Yes. Because everyone is aligned. Mm -hmm. So we know the requirements, the expectations, the threshold, because we have the kind of mental structure from your um, from the coaches co coaching sessions, and so we you learn fast because you have immediately the feedbacks needed to progress. Yeah. And so you, I, I, I wouldn't say that uh, you don't need much practice, but your learning curve is maximized in a very short amount of time. Yeah. Because you immediately have the the pain point, your weak points, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. like the other mentees, as yeah. of course the, the coaches. And so, I mean, uh, you reach amazing performance yeah. in, I mean, not 
100 <laughs> mock <Yeah. interviews. laughs> Yes, yes. I mean, if you do 100 cases or so, and then you still, you know, are shaky, then this is the best proof that you're doing something wrong. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> cool. So maybe uh, one more thing, because this is the, uh, this is this is a point uh, that is actually pretty dear to my heart, right? Because many people feel very insecure about all these gazillion different interview preparation resources and the coaching offers that pop up at every corner in the internet uh, on the internet, right? So um, and we are really feeling this very often when we speak to candidates initially, right, who have the strong desire to break into one of these uh, elite consulting firms, but who are constantly told by some friends and or even better anonymous people on the internet forums uh, who are telling them things like oh i did it all on my own right i would never spend money on coaching just read case in point and then practice with your friends and then you're going to be fine so what are you telling to these people who, or what are you telling people who are receiving such advice i mean uh, it will sound very consulting but mm. i would say uh, it, it depends Mm. <laughs> it depends because, of course, uh, um, job offers, MBB offers can come in a lot of different ways. But um, if we think about the, the, the offering process in a very analytical way mm. and we build a very simple equation, there are two main factors that you can work on, which are, first of all, the quality, quality of preparation. And the second is the quantity of preparation, mm -hmm. because then all the luck needed uh, uh, people, external factors, you, you can't really deal with these uh, or like all the social environment, uh, economic yep. environment, you can deal with. It. So you can work on the quality and the quantity of your preparation. And yep. of course, the perfect goal is to maximize the, uh, the quality and minimize the quantity to yep. be good and consistent during your interviews, basically, and get an offer. Yep. Um, yep. And, yep. But, but, and here, like uh, the, the, the data science uh, student <laughs> comes out, because, yep. uh, I mean, as humans, uh, we are a sort of, uh, I would say, uh, reinforcement learning algorithms. We learn from feedbacks. Yeah. We develop a skill from feedbacks through yep. the words. And these rewards will shape our behaviors. So what you can tab from uh, random people and from books. Books are, uh, um, I would say, passive way of learning. Mm -hmm. yeah, you it's can unidirectional, build, right? Mm. You build something, but I mean, you, 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 you can't learn a skill just from reading a book. Yep. As well as uh, university colleagues, mm. they, they are not MBB consultants. They are students. normally not. <laughs> <laughs> they are students as you. So and even even if they would be, usually they are not interviewers. And they are not interviewers. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's another very, very good point. So yeah. it's like feedback. The value, I think that the key value proposition or of coaching and this kind of coaching is that feedback yeah. that permits yeah. you to maximize the quality and minimize the quantity of this uh, preparation timeline. Yeah. Yep, because yep, you yep. have an immediate uh, professional feedback from you, mm -hmm. and then the people you will that you uh, you will interact with, uh, they they had the same or different feedbacks, and yep. you know, as I said, the threshold, the standards, and the quality of these yep. feedbacks. Yeah. And so I mean, and then I would say, I mean, the results talk for for themselves. For me, it was three months. Mm -hmm. Just one application, yeah. one offer to my target company. Yeah. So, yep. Yep. I mean, doesn't get much better than that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, actually, yeah. All right, cool. No, uh, thank you so much, right, for sharing uh, your journey, sh sharing your your perspective, your learnings, right? Amazing. Uh, congratulations again, right? Uh, I mean, BCG is a fantastic firm, right? Uh, so, and I'm sure this will be just the beginning um, of a great trajectory for your consulting journey. So congratulations again. Um, thank you so much. All the best. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.